Most successful blogs, in my opinion, are successful because of SEO. Website traffic is the currency of the internet, and if you're having trouble increasing your traffic, then this video is for you. Did you know that it takes an average of 120 days to rank on the first page of Google for a keyword? That means that most of your blog posts will start receiving Google traffic four months after they are published. To get the greatest results, you'll need high-quality links, good on-page optimization, and keyword research, among other things. You don't need to attain first-page rankings on Google if you're a novice looking for techniques to increase website traffic in less than 60 days. Yes, you may try a variety of additional methods to improve your rankings all of which will be addressed in this video. And you'll also learn a few key tips for increasing your entire site's traffic within 60 days. With that said, here are 10 tips, tricks to increase your website traffic in 60 days. 1. Write blog posts that are at least 2,000 words long. Do you want to know how to get enormous traffic from search engines like Google as quickly as possible? Then begin writing long-form content with more than 2,000 words. More traffic can be generated by publishing 2,000-plus words of in-depth and extremely informative content than by writing two 1,000-word articles. Why should you write articles that are above 2,000 words long to improve your SEO? Content is king. SEO is constantly boosted by great content. Longer content usually performs better on every level, says renowned blogger Neil Patel. Add 2,000 plus words to your blog post if you want to stand out from the crowd. Longer postings generate more authoritative backlinks, which improves your blog's SEO. Your potential readers won't have to go to other websites to get all of the information they need. As a result, you'll gain authority in your blog's niche. When it comes to showing search results, Google prioritizes long-form content. Longer content enhances user engagement and time spent on the page. Want to get more people to share your blog posts on social media? Then start writing content that is 2,000 words or longer, and you'll notice the magic number of social shares. While you're writing, optimize your posts for SEO. Write intriguing headlines since users read headlines first, and only if the title piques their interest will they continue reading. When you're writing content, think about how it will benefit your readers. 2. Publishing content more often. Did you realize that publishing your blog posts on a more regular basis can increase your traffic? Not only from Google, but more regular blogging also helps you attract more visitors from other sources such as social media, email, and forums. Neil Patel used to publish one large post each week, but as his Google traffic climbed, he increased his publication frequency. He now publishes 8 to 10 articles per month, if not more. His traffic increased dramatically. He eventually grew his blog's monthly traffic to 500,000 unique readers. Take a look at the screenshot above to see how he received about 600,000 visitors in a month. Enhance your blog posting frequency if you want to swiftly increase your overall search engine traffic. Google still favors new content and rewards you if your content is educational. 3. Do long tail keyword research. In your content, focus on long tail keywords. You will experience an increase in search traffic if you publish longer content with long tail keywords. Why should you focus on long tail keywords? Long tail keywords typically have a good conversion rate while receiving less search attention. Make an effort to get your blog to rank for a specific term. Use long tail keywords to complement your content. This aids in the growth of your product sales. Long tail keywords usually answer a user's problem because they are exceedingly specialized. Do considerable keyword research before using such keywords in your text. How to find long tail keywords. Numerous keyword research tools can help you find long tail keywords. SEMrush is one such tool. Just type in your seed keyword and you will be provided with numerous long tail keywords and other related keywords. Four, research your competitors. It's not bad to spy on your competition, and it's not necessary to start from zero and figure out a variety of strategies. Everything is currently at your disposal. By observing your niche competitors, you may gain all of the knowledge you need to rank higher, such as content ideas, marketing techniques, and keyword usage. What are the benefits of researching your competitors? To determine the level of keyword competition, to look for keywords that drive a lot of traffic to your competitor's website, to find out where they acquire their authoritative backlinks from, to analyze the SEO strategy of your competition, to discover the keywords they use in their advertisements. How do you conduct competitive research? The first step is to build a list of all of your industry's competitors. Make a list of 30 to 50 blogs in your niche, along with their URLs, in a spreadsheet. Now verify their ranks with SEMrush. It provides their organic traffic keywords, domain authority, backlink sources, and other important information. 
There are several excellent tools available that may provide you with a wealth of information on your competitors. You can quickly perform backlink research with SEMrush, which provides information on all of your competitors' links, keywords, and ad copy, among other things. You can find out how much your competitors spend on adverts and what keywords they employ by using a service like SEMrush. 5. Devote 80% of your time to content marketing. Well, you've made some fantastic content. Have you ever considered how much time you spend on developing content and promoting your blog? Is there a 60 over 40 split in terms of creation and promotion? Or should it be 80% creation and 20% promotion? Or is it a 50 over 50 chance? Why should you invest 80% of your budget on blog promotion? Because it's there where the magic happens. To gain more visibility, you must advertise your content aggressively. This is something that the majority of newbies fail to achieve. Instead of promoting, they devote more effort to developing content. As a result, their content receives virtually little attention. How can you promote yourself effectively? Here are a few things you may do to increase the visibility of your blog. Repurpose the content you've already created. Convert your articles into videos, infographics, audio files, ebooks, and other formats. Make contact with bloggers. Make contact with other bloggers and ask for their assistance. Make good use of social networks. After you've published your posts, do some social bookmarking. When optimizing your posts, don't forget about SEO. 6. Make your website SEO friendly. One of the simplest ways to quickly increase your website traffic is to conduct a comprehensive site audit to see if any issues need to be addressed. If your website isn't well optimized for SEO, you're probably squandering a lot of money in traffic. Here are a few truly great SEO strategies for your website. Use Rank Math SEO plugin. It makes on-page optimization a breeze. When writing blog articles and pages, use simple and keyword-rich URLs. Use a mobile-friendly design for your website at all times. You may use free plugins like WP Touch to make your site mobile-friendly right away. Better yet, purchase mobile responsive themes to provide a better user experience. Pay attention to how long it takes for your website to load. Get a better hosting service if your site is taking too long to load. Name Hero is my recommended hosting for WordPress. 7. Build links. Backlinks are unquestionably the one aspect that can deliver massive results from search engines. Link building is the most reliable strategy to increase your website's traffic quickly. Link building is the process of obtaining high-quality links from other websites to yours. Search engine crawlers regard backlinks to be votes. As a result, the more high-quality links you have, the more Google traffic you will receive. That's all there is to it. 8. Use Quora to increase traffic. Quora is rapidly growing in popularity. It's a popular question and answer site with millions of members. Any type of question can be answered here. What are the benefits of using Quora? To come up with outstanding content ideas that work, upvotes have the potential to make your posts go viral. If you have great and useful content, you can acquire a lot of daily visitors. Simply send them to your website. You can do wonders for your site if you know how to use Quora effectively. 9. Use social media to your advantage. Social media is an extremely effective weapon. Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and Facebook are all rapidly developing social media platforms. You may easily bring a ton of new traffic to your sites if you locate and connect with social media influencers. Simply concentrate on gaining fans on one social media site at a time. That way, you can devote the majority of your time, effort, and attention to growing an audience in one location at a time. Focus on assisting influencers by tweeting their content, linking to their postings, and providing them with complimentary services. That way, when you seek assistance, they will return the favor. 10. Influence Marketing Did you know that when an influencer endorses your product, your sales increase by 92%? Software providers make huge offers to people like Pat Flynn, Neil Patel, and Chris Brogan to advocate their products to their audiences. If you haven't yet focused on influence marketing, now is the moment. Make a list of industry influencers that includes bloggers, podcasters, bloggers who make videos, book authors. Find out what they are most passionate about. Determine how you can assist them. Make an effort to contact them regularly without pushing anything sales. Make them your friends and develop a solid relationship with them before seeking assistance. Influence marketing has a whopping ROI of $23 for every dollar spent. That's a huge return on investment. So start focusing on it if you want to increase your site's exposure and revenues. Conclusion I know what works and what doesn't when it comes to raising website traffic because I've tried a ton of tactics over the last few years. The tips I discussed in this video have been shown to work, and if used correctly, they can bring you a lot of traffic in a short amount of time. 
And the best thing is that these insider tips will help you boost your blog's overall sales, not only traffic. So, what do you have to lose? Choose the techniques that you think will help you grow your website traffic in the next 60 days and put them into action. Thanks for watching.